JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, police seize three guns in western Jamaica. Two illegal firearms were seized in Beckerseth, St. James, on Friday, December 11. Reports are that about 12.30 p.m., a team of officers was in the area conducting operations as part of the Jamaica Constabulary Force operational surge for the Christmas season. The team reportedly saw a man running away. The police chased him. However, he escaped, dropping a bag as he fled. The bag was retrieved, searched, and two Nanamem pistols with the serial numbers erased and a magazine containing five Nanamem cartridges were found. Meanwhile, over in Westmoreland, a 17-year-old boy of Sheffield, Negril in Westmoreland, has been charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition following an incident on Dawes Lane, Sheffield in the parish, on Wednesday, December 9. Reports from the Negril police are that about 9.40 p.m., a joint police-military team was patrolling in the area when they observed a bar with patrons. While approaching the bar, the team observed the accused teen placed in an item underneath a section of the bar counter. It was retrieved by the police and found to be one H2000 semi-automatic pistol. It was fitted with a magazine containing nine nanomem rounds of ammunition. The teen was arrested and subsequently charged. Cops seek public assistance to locate relatives of deceased Oliver. The halfway tree police are seeking the public's help to identify the body of a man that was found in an open lot on Camp Road in Kingston 5, on Friday, October 2, the body is of dark brown complexion, slim build, and is about 183 centimeters or 6 feet tall. It also has long dreadlocks that were turning gray as well as a beard. Reports are that about 3.50 p.m., the police were alerted to the area where the decomposing body was found. Investigators believe the man may have been homeless and went by the alias Oliver. The investigators are now asking anyone who may know Oliver or his relatives to contact them at 876-926-8185, 876-926-2551, or may contact through the police 119 emergency number. Adi charged after threatening to kill woman. After months of investigations, the Kingston Eastern Police have arrested a second man and charged him with assault at common law and illegal possession of firearm in connection with an incident on Burger Avenue, Kingston 2, on August 13. He is 23-year-old Odeni Francis, otherwise called Addy, of Waterloo Road, Kingston 2. Reports from the Elliston Road Police are that about 8.30 a.m., Francis and another man, who were both armed with firearms, allegedly approached the complainant, pointed their weapons at her, and threatened to kill her. The complainant managed to escape unharmed and reported the incident to the police. Francis was arrested on December 8 and officially charged after it was pointed out in an identification parade. His court date is being finalized. His co-accused, 19-year-old Romario Brewster, otherwise called Amari, of Burger Avenue, Kingston 2, was previously charged after being arrested on August 22. His case is before the court. Agriculture Minister Preparing Drought Mitigation Strategy The Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries has formed a Drought Mitigation Committee to adequately prepare its mitigation strategy for the upcoming dry spell season. Making the disclosure, Portfolio Minister Floyd Green said the committee will consist of members of the Rural Agricultural Development Authority RADA, the National Irrigation Commission Limited, and the Med Service of Jamaica. The committee will have its first meeting next week because as we reflect on the rains, we have to start now to prepare for the drought, he said. We'll be looking at the forecasting models in relation to what is happening for the next year regarding our dry season. We already have the data of the areas that are normally affected tremendously by dry spells and we'll be putting in the mitigation plan to ensure our farmers will be able to make it through any difficulties that will come the minister continued. He was speaking at a ceremony to hand over 1,300 bags of special blend fertilizers valued at $2 million to farmers worst affected by heavy rains six weeks ago at Newport First and Jamaica Limited's 
Wherry Wharf operations in Kingston on Wednesday. Green also indicated that $40 million will be earmarked to refurbish water catchment facilities across the island to assist farmers with water during periods of drought. This is a part of a broader program that we'll embark on during the next financial year, he noted. Meanwhile, Principal Director of Technical Services at RADA, Marina Young, said her organization endorsed the support being provided to the farmers by Newport for son and assured that the inputs will get to the farmers in a timely manner. Young hailed the input supplier for rallying to aid the agricultural sector during times of difficulty, pointing to past incidents in which they have provided support. For his part, Managing Director of Newport Fursan, Dennis Valdez, said there was no greater satisfaction than giving and that the company recognized that the donation would help farmers to go through a new year with renewed hope. Eight of the top 20 communities in Kingston with COVID located in Westmoreland. The Westmoreland Health Department is ramping up activities in order to address the surging cases of COVID-19 in the parish. Medical Officer of Health for Westmoreland, Dr. Marcia Graham, said the number of positive cases have also doubled over the past month. We have now crossed the 500 number in terms of confirmed cases for the parish, she noted, while addressing the monthly meeting of the Westmoreland Municipal Corporation on Thursday. She said that of the top 20 communities in the island, which have seen an increase in the number of COVID-19 cases, eight of them are located in Westmoreland. We are talking about places like Negril, Little London, Grange Hill, Big Bridge, Londalo, Frome, White House, and the Savlamar Business Center. We have communities all over the parish that have one or two cases, but these are the main ones that are giving us the higher number of active cases, Dr. Graham told the meeting. We have been out there doing testing, and the fact of the matter is that each time we test, we get positive cases from all over the parish. Our positivity rate is higher than that of other parishes that are also conducting tests, she lamented. She noted that 18.6% of tests done in Little London have returned positive, 16% in Grange Hill, and 12.5% in Savlamar. Dr. Graham said that the health department will be conducting tests in the White House and Beeston Spring communities, as there have been positive cases in those areas. She noted that along with the increase in infections, the number of deaths have also doubled. We had 10 deaths a month ago, and now we're up to 22, and we still have others that are under investigation. So we're talking about direct COVID-19 related deaths, she pointed out. Dr. Graham is appealing to citizens to do their part in stemming the community spread of the virus. If persons have symptoms, they need to stay home, isolate yourself, not only from the public, but within your home. If there are other persons living in the household, you need to isolate yourself from them. Give them a separate bedroom. If you can do a separate bathroom, even better. But if you can't, make sure you sanitize so that you can protect the household, she advised. Dr. Graham noted that entire family members are contracting COVID-19. One person is ill and the others have been freely interfacing with them and so we get these clusters. We have had up to seven positive contacts from one person. So I'm saying that we all need to be aware and sometimes we have to practice loving your loved ones from a distance for their health, wellness and for their safety, she said. Dr. Graham commended the staff of the health department who have been working assiduously to contain the virus and expressed gratitude to the municipality, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, the business community and other stakeholders in the parish for their support. Man pleads guilty to killing girlfriend, setting house ablaze. A mason who is charged with killing his girlfriend and then setting their house ablaze with her body inside has pleaded guilty to the charges. The incident occurred in a compound town, St. Elizabeth, two years ago. Steve Green of a compound town appeared in the St. Elizabeth Circuit Court on Thursday. He is charged with murder in relation to the death of 39-year-old businesswoman Marsha Lennon and Arson in relation to the fire which destroyed the house. Green is to be sentenced on Tuesday 
December 15, and was remanded in custody until then. According to reports, about 6.30 a.m. on Friday, March 23, 2018, residents saw the house on fire and summoned the police and the fire brigade. A team from the Santa Cruz Fire Station responded, and while conducting cooling down operations, the remains of Lennon were found under a burnt-out mattress in the house. Green was found unconscious, with several burns to his body outside the burning house, and was taken to hospital. A post-mortem examination later confirmed that Lennon had been killed before the house was set ablaze. Following a probe, Green was arrested and charged in relation to the killing and the fire. 102 new COVID cases, 2 deaths. Jamaica recorded 102 new COVID-19 cases over the last 24 hours, as well as 2 deaths. The 2 deaths were previously under investigation and include a 61-year-old man from St. Catherine and a 79-year-old woman also from St. Catherine. These bring the total number of deaths from COVID-19 to 273 and the overall number of cases to 11,710. The new cases consist of 57 males, 44 females, and one gender under investigation with ages ranging from 4 years to 82 years. They were listed in Hanover, St. Thomas, Clarendon, and Portland for each. Kingston and St. Andrew, 10. Manchester, 13. St. Anne, 24. St. Catherine, 10. St. Elizabeth and St. Mary, 1 each. St. James, 9. Trelawney, 3. And Westmoreland, 15. Meanwhile, 155 people have recovered, bringing the total number of recoveries to 7,000. 954. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.